Well, hello there. I wanted to teach you a new method that I learned just recently about foiling. Apparently, you can use now embossing folders to help you emboss or uh, to foil the image right onto your paper. So, we are gonna do start with the regular explanations. So, first of all, you can foil the regular way, just like you would. Let's do that real quick. So, mine just turned green, my little light, so you can see it. The little light just turned green. It just finished heating. So we're still gonna put this right on here. Remember, put the word right on the heating so it, because it's metal for it to start heating up first of all. We're gonna do this word in silver. So we're gonna need to start that. Oh, I guess I already started it. Cool. So we're just gonna cut a piece big enough to fit it. So we actually gonna straight it out. It is warm, but it's not awfully hot, so don't worry about it. Unless you're really sensitive and you know you're really sensitive. So we're just gonna cut a piece as straight as I possibly can. Because then what's left over you can use again so I'll tell you a little bit more about it later so the rule of foiling the pretty side with the foil see there's the dull side that all the foils have like um, let's get this gold this is the pretty side of the gold and then there's the weird side of it. So this weird side, which is like a almost silvery always kind of on the inside. Not the nice bright shiny one, but this one goes towards the paper. So make sure you're putting the pretty one on your little die right there. Then put your paper on there. like that. So see, this goes towards the little die there, and then the weird dull side is towards the paper, next to the paper. So put all of that down. Mine takes a shim, a hundred pound, a hundred pound paper folded in half. So I know that's for my machine, that's what I need. So I just put that right on top, close it up, and we're going to wait until this light turns green. So basically it's going to tell me it will heat enough. going to wait, 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 wait. Okay, so it's done. And then you pull it out. Don't let it sit in there for way too long. And just run it slowly through your big shot or whatever machine you're using. So just go slow and you can actually go both ways front and forward to make sure it transfers well. Okay. Now let's put it back in here. I am wondering if um, having it all all the way in all the time and heating is not a good thing because you can overfoil then. So for it not to happen, I think I wouldn't connect it all the time, even though it takes a little bit to heat again. I'd rather wait and see. You can even see how the word congratulations kind of indented on my shim, but that happens all the time. You can see even some stuff on this so eventually you'll have to change them but and now here's our word and let's reveal so you can see the regular foiling 
just peel it off. Ta da! There's the congratulations. I don't know if it's backwards or not for you, but. So that's the word congratulations. Just regularly foiled. It's the first time I'm using this one, so I wanted to see what it's going to look like. And just take it off. You can always use your tweezers to take it off. And then I'm just putting it on my um, craft mat that doesn't really matter anything with it. You can put warm, heat, whatever. So that's a word. That's the regular foiling. Okay, so let's get that out of the way first. Okay, so the next thing you can do is you can actually transfer the leftover foil, this heat that put this to heat. We're gonna put our metal shim. This is from Lawn Fawn, but you can use any of them. I don't think this was originally meant for the hot foil, but that's what I came up and that's what I'm gonna use it. So remember, the really weird side goes, goes towards your paper and then this will go towards the metal. So we're going to put that right on here. And then we're going to put extra shims. So the regular 100 pound double folded. And then I just put a few more extra to make sure it transfers well. So I have one, um, I think this one's like an 80 pounder. Two eighty, two and a half eighty pounds folded, or you can try two, probably hundred folded. Either way, it doesn't matter. Just you need more shims for this than regular. So it is blinking red. So we're gonna wait. So basically, and this one does not cut because some of the foiling stamps they also foil and cut this one congratulations did not cut so we have all that extra foil around it that's still left that we can actually do foiling with okay so just turn green we're gonna pull it out and do the same thing just put it through the machine slowly you can sing a song you can do whatever you like just put it through slowly so the pressure really gets on there to squeeze it all together. And we do have the extra shims to make up for the metal that we're missing in there. It might not be a perfect transfer of foil, but it'll be pretty. I'll show you some. It actually might have transferred completely. You can even go an extra time while it's still warm, but we're gonna stop there just back and forth for now. Let's see what we got. So, lift all these shims up. There's our paper. So, this is what happened. And now we just pick a corner. Didn't fully transfer. See, I still have in the corner. So, what I want to do, I'm going to try heating it one more time. I've been wanting to try this to see if it'll fix that problem or not since there's not going to be any overfoiling so we're going to put it in there and try it that means it, it either needs an extra shim or it wasn't heated enough so we're going to try heating it and see if that will solve the problem and see if you can even do that if you can heat it twice and run it through twice and if it will help or not so I'm going to try it. Before I remove it anywhere, I'm going to try one more time. I've been wanting to try this method because I've never seen anybody do it twice. They usually just peel it off, put it away, and that's it. But I wanted to try one more time to see if it'll finish doing what it did not do the first time. Because it transferred some, but not everything. Okay, so pull it out gently, and you have to pull it straight. Remember, don't pull it up. Just straight out of there. Slide it right on the little surface that there is. Just go slow. 
let's open it up and see what happened this time. Okay, so the corner did not want to work the first time, so we're going to try and see if it worked this time or if it's the same thing. It didn't do much more, so I guess there's not a point of doing it twice, but here's what we get. It's not a perfect... I mean, you can leave the plasticky on there, but here's what we got. So it's not 100% perfect. There is a little bit of foil missing in the corner, but that is mostly almost, that's all really that's left on there. If you look on the foil, right here, against the white sheet. Here, I'll put it on here. That's pretty much all that is left, is that one corner. Just a little bit of pieces here and there, but most of it is gone. So I guess there was, when you lift even a little bit, you can't go back and redo it. So that's going to be our waste. Let's close it up for now. Let it keep heating. Now, another method which you can do, you can die cut something out like this. And we're going to do the same thing. But because it is a raised surface, it's going to do a lot better. Because that was a flat surface, so we're going to put this in here. What color should we? Should we do it in blue? What color do we want to make it? I don't know. You know what? Let's do pink. The we, yucky side goes towards your die cut that you want to foil and you will need a piece of paper to put against it because the rest will want to transfer so actually we're gonna I think I'm gonna trim it even more so that way I can use this on a different piece if I want because the foil all this extra foil right here it is also going to transfer. So some of it is going to go onto our little die cut, but the rest has to go somewhere. So that's why I have a little piece of paper for it to go right on there. And then we're going to put all of this towards the metal. Okay, now we're going to put all of our shims back on top of it, close it up, put it in, let it heat, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to do this method right here. See how I had the die cut words thank you? They foiled perfectly in silver, but then I also had all of this left over in the back. That's my little scrap that I put in the back for the extra foil to go through. And I loved it so much that I did not want to pull out the words. Just the whole combination I really liked. My husband really liked it too. So it all foiled right there. So I had the actual words foiled. So I can use, I could have used them by themselves. Or I just left them in just like in this example. So it's up to you. So this is one of my cards that I did with the words in this method that I'm doing right now in here. And this was the leftover from it. So I'm still deciding if I want to try foiling it again or if I want to just leave it the way it is and use it the way it is. Because even just like that it's beautiful. This is the plasticky part that is left over after I foiled that, those words. So that's another thing you can do. Let's run this through the machine. Slow, 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 slow. Just go slow. One and see what we got. Let's lift the paper. And you can see how it really transferred. There's my little picture. So 
let's see what we got here. I'm going to lift the corner and see how this is almost completely clear. Like that. So, this piece got foiled, just like I told you I did the words. Let me grab a light piece of paper so you can see it. So if you have a yucky paper you don't like, you can foil it and it's going to look beautiful. Just like that. See how beautifully it foiled. Here's what was left on here so you got that white imprint in there and then like I said the rest of the foil is going to try to transfer also that's why I cut that off but you also have this little piece if you want to use it you can definitely use this also you can either try using it again and get the foil transferred with the extra shims or you can leave it the way it is or cut it out. I mean, it's your choice, whatever you want to do with it from here. So basically, you get three things out of it. You get this, where you could leave this little piece in here, just like I did the words. So it leaves this little white frame around it, though. Because it does keep a little bit on the edge off of there. So this is what you get, and you can keep it just like that, just trim this little piece and use it. Or do it on a, a big sheet, and uh, that corner will be foiled for you. Or this, so you got three pieces out of it. Are you about that? Now, here's the new method I wanted to show you guys. So, we are not going to use the metal shim this time, so I'm going to take that off. It might be a little bit warm, so I'm going to just pull it off of there. This, we're going to do this one. I really love this one, especially on envelopes. You can probably try doing this on envelopes. I love those little birds. So you have to emboss the image first before you do anything else. So you have to make sure you got it embossed. So um, these are the birds. So just close it and run it through like you normally would emboss. Put it inside of two plates and just run it through so it embosses the picture on there. The better emboss on your picture, the better. So if you open it up and it doesn't seem all that great, then make sure to close it and do it uh, differently. Okay, so I need to make sure I keep these words right on where they're supposed to be. So yeah, make sure it stays right in there. So let's get this out of the way, first of all. So now what we're going to do is, depending on what you want to have foiled, we're going to work with that. Before I do that, I wanted them in blue. So let me cut a sheet that is big enough for the whole thing. Just to make sure that I have enough on there. Okay, now we're not going to do the shim, but we are going to use um, squishy. So this is a squishy. See, it squeezes. It's for embossing um, whenever you want. Like if you have a die, and then it also has some that doesn't cut, but for it to kind of mold it inside, this is what you use with it. You usually use it with um, hard pad that comes with it, 
so I'm not going to use it with it because we have the little cover right here. So I'm going to do without it. I'm going to try without it. The one, uh, person that I learned this method from, she actually did use, as she called it, the knock-knock because you can knock on it. So, But I'm not going to do that. So what I'm doing, remember, the yucky side goes on the paper, towards the paper. Now we're going to flip it over so it gets the needed heat on there. Then we're going to put this on top. Actually, we're going to do the shims just in case it's going to foil. I don't want my um, mat to get foiled. So I'm going to put it in between them. And then I'm going to put the other shim on there. And we're going to try it. So put it all the way in. Let it heat. Close it all and let it heat. Then if um, that method works for me, we're going to try it with this embossing folder and we're going to do gold. So let me get the paper ready for it. And then, okay, so that fits. Now, let's wait and see when it heats. Oh, we'll get the gold foil ready so we can put that in. Have it go even quicker. Okay, so we got that ready. Let's emboss the paper so it's all ready to go. Okay, so I'm gonna run this through real quick while that is still heating. flip anymore they come separately so you can just take it off it might be easier for you okay so we're ready with this as soon as that is ready we're gonna run it through the machine and see what we got probably kept it off from heating for too long is why it's taking a while to heat up but that's okay it needs to do its thing okay 